Dream Babe, which seems to be doing very well for Roy Orbison in the American charts, with Paul McCartney on vocal lead, it's the Beatles! <laughs> Taking the vocal lead in what must surely be a Spanish classic, Besame Mucho. <laughs> very nicely in the charts is Mr. Joe Brown, who is lucky enough to have a picture of you, which is also the cue for the final offering from the Beatles today, and this time it's a feature for George Harrison. Oh, 
the Beatles to stay on stage for another of their own compositions. Do you want to know a secret? You never know how much I really love you. You never know how much I really care. Hoppers, the old phrase. We're knee deep in the four Beatles once again this afternoon. Side Carl Denver Trio. We all had a trouble then parted. We'll be the same as we started. We traveled along, seeking this country side by side. Oh yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Most of the songs that you sing are original compositions. Which of you composes the song? Oh, that's, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, me. Yeah. that's what oh. I call togetherness. Well, look, let's get down to brass tacks. The next number, Thank You, Girl, You Did Write Yourself, and who had the original idea? Me. I, 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 that's I, I, yeah, that's no, I give up. Me. Let's hear it.
Hello, my name's Lee Peters. Now, let's see. Lead guitar propping up George Harrison. Rhythm guitar and John Lennon holding tight to it. Bass guitar spoiling our view of Paul McCartney. And that sturdy set of drums waiting for Ringo Starr to beat the daylights out of it. That's all we need for the sound we've come to know as the Beatles. So, all's right with the world. Or will be when we've had a shot of rhythm and blues. Well, if your hands start a touch, your fingers start a bumping, your feet start a moving around. And if you start to swing and sway, when the band starts to play, a real cool and way out of town. And if you get the can help it, then you can't sit down. You feel like you gotta move around. Get a shot of rhythm and blues. Thank you very much. Now, we brought down front stage Paul McCartney, who I believe was uh, 21 last week, right? Paul? Yeah, that's right. Well, congratulations. Um, you. Did you have a party? Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah. yeah. Marvellous. Lovely. Any girls there? <laughs> Any girls there? Oh, yeah, one or two. You know. yeah. Well, now, for the benefit of all the little darlings who weren't there, how about you singing a song for them? Yeah, OK, then we'll do Taste of Honey. A taste of honey, tasting much sweeter than wine. Do do do, do 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 do. I dream of your first kiss, and then I feel upon my lips again a taste of honey. A taste of honey. Tasting much sweeter than wine I will return Yes, I will return I'll come back for the honey And you do 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 do
Jerry, nice to have you with us. Have you been enjoying the show? Fabulous, thanks, Mark. Good. Well, now I know you're a great mate of the Beatles, so I wondered yeah. if you'd care to introduce their next one for us. They're going to do their new record number. Oh, very good. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, this is one which I really think is going to be a hit. <laughs> Hope so, anyway. A number know. one like yours? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I just hope it's going to be a hit and I'd nothing more I can say except, uh, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> if you like it. And <laughs> I sincerely hope that this one... Tell them what it's called, then. No, not yet. Wait. Oh. I sincerely hope this one will go from the number one spot from me to you. Thank you. Noticeably absent from the Beatles, that of George Harrison. Here's why. If there's anything that you want, <laughs> if there's anything I can do... Oh, we shouldn't laugh, George. It's awfully rough. <laughs> I think I should just so add that the programme that you're listening to has been recorded, and we're actually talking to you from a few weeks ago, so if you were by any chance thinking of seeing the Beatles in action perhaps tonight, there George will be, large as life and twice as beautiful. Right? Yeah, I... I, I pardon? <laughs> On with the music. The world is treating me bad Misery
Now, it's almost a year since the Beatles first hit the show business jackpot. So, all, all the rest of the numbers that you're going to hear today are the big hits that the boys have achieved during the past 12 months. And here's their first one, Love Me Do. Mother is here. Your wish is granted. And here are four beetles. All I want for Christmas is a bottle, a bottle, a bottle of Christmas. Hello, oh, they've been at the orange squash again. Now pull yourself together, Paul, and have a bash at this abstemious steaming postcard. I've got a card here from Carol Stewart, and she says that she works in a school for mentally handicapped children. And the school is the Barking Junior Training Centre at Ripple Road, Barking, in Essex. And she said. You know, she'd like us to do a song for her. So, here's the song for you and all the kids of the school. Happy Christmas. <laughs> I don't think it's true that his voice is going, actually. I think he sings quite nicely. So let's have a listen to I Call Your Name.
should think that by now just about everybody has read about the film that you boys are still busy making. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit more about just what it is about, Paul. The film? Um, it's about two days in our life. Uh, the, main, the main bit is that my grandfather, uh, played by Wilfred Bramble, uh, that it's uh, us coming down on a train to do some TVs and... Uh, just messing around generally, it sounds dull. Anyway, but it, it, I don't think it is. He gets engaged on the train to some some woman, I don't know. <laughs> what what play? is one of the funny things that's happened to you that's in the film? In the or film? Uh, there's, there's a little bit about a fellow, a, a, an old bloke who comes into a train compartment and starts closing the windows that we've just opened and uh, making us turn our radio off. You know, we're playing the radio. Listen, it's a Saturday club, of course. Of course, yeah. uh, And we're playing the radio. And he comes in and says, you know, I'll have that off for a start. Mm -hmm. And we said, do you mind if we have the windows open? He says, yes, I do. And things like that. Oh, it's grand fun. Hilarious. Brian. Well, it's now, shut up. It is, it's quite good, actually. Uh, I see. It's, it's when it, funny and, in the that. film. In the film. It's quite yeah. funny. Good. Yeah. You sing well, in the film. Yeah. Many numbers? Six or seven. Are you going to record them or have you recorded them? Yeah. We've recorded them already. Yeah. They'll be released with the film. Yeah, that's fine. We'll all look forward to seeing the film, which I'm sure will be a tremendous success. Well, how about another number now? OK, uh, an old Carl Perkins one called Short of Fall. <laughs> Thing, but it seems to me that these adorable idiots are doing more rabbiting than singing. So, while I um, clap a hand far, firmly over the mouth of John, another one over Paul's, maybe Bernie or old George still, and somebody else will stand in front of Ringo, and we'll listen to them after that, singing the song which we think is going to prove the all my loving, as it were, of the film and of their new LP. It's called You Should Have Known Better.
If I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true and help me understand? Cause I've been in love before and I found that love was more than just holding hands. If I gave Here's another little request spot, and the first card from Carol, Barry, Mac, and Dave, and all the girls in the factory. I wonder what they make there in Walsall. And another card from Felicity, Christine, and all the sixth form at Ellen Grammar School, Yorkshire. Now, you've got a message there for George, John. Uh, I haven't got the cheek. You tell him what it is. The message is for George to get his hair cut, even if he doesn't think much of the idea. Well, the thing is, Linus and Sue, he's had it cut, and he looks a right laugh! <laughs> It's been a hard day's night And I've been working like a dog It's been a hard day's night I should be sleeping like a log But when I get home to you I find the things that you do Will make me feel
a great note to end on. The very top of the hit parade with the Beatles in a hard day's night. From time to time, George is allowed to uh, do a... <coughs> Do a number when the Beatles have been right, George. That's right, yeah, sometimes, like. You're sounding a I've got, fine I've got a tonight. cold and a cough and a sore throat and a cough oh. and a cold. But, yeah, apart from that... I'm Otherwise, you'd like to do a song for us? Yeah, but, you know, I'll probably be having a bit of trouble, but... Yeah, well, don't worry. We'll, reali we'll all realise that you're doing your best. Yeah. Before this dance is through, I think I'll love you too. I'm so happy when you dance with me. I don't want to kiss or hold your hand. If it's funny, try and understand. There is really nothing else I'd rather do. Cause I'm happy just to dance with you. I don't want to hook or hold you tight. I just want to dance with you all night. Somebody tries to take your place Let's pretend we just can't see his face In this world there's nothing else I'd rather do I discovered I'm in love with you Just to dance with you Is everything I need Before this dance is through I think I love you too I'm so happy when you dance with me Somebody tries to take my place Let's pretend we just can't see his face In this world there's nothing I would rather do Cause I'm happy just to dance with you I've discovered I'm in love with you of those hard days night offerings from the Fab Four, I'm happy to just dance with you. Uh, just a minute. A long nose has just come between me and the microphone. Who are you? <coughs> me? Yeah. I'm Ringo. The one who never speaks. The one what who never speaks? The one of them. One of which? Those people. Haven't they got a name? You know me. I don't. You know where I'm from. Wandering in here, <laughs> telling me what I should be doing. No, folks, it's your friends, the Beatles. <laughs> the only way I can get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, far be it for me to tell you to get out of anything. We'll hear from you and the other three later. I'm a
says the names in that order. Do you know why? Yeah, I don't know. Why do they say John Paul, say George, and Rick? John Paul, George, Danny, and, yeah. and Teddy. And Denny? Yes. Oh, yeah, going to have top billing next Three, week. Four plus one. Lovely. Now, do you all see the photographs that way, don't you? Sort of from yeah, left yes. to right. Uh, ask the fellas, one big question right now, the film. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's not a question. <laughs> it's a nut question. <laughs> it's uh, July 29th, isn't it, the premiere? Yes, yes. yes. And Unless the title goes wrong. The title is Help. Help. Is that settled on now? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's the story behind that, in the title? Well, well, well <laughs> it's just they're trying to get Ringo's ring, the baddies, you see. A gold ring. And uh, we're the goodies. Are you sort of 007, are you, Ringo? Well, no, no, I'm a sort of double on Tom. <laughs> double Pommel on Tom. Uh, and the, the other question that everyone wants to know, of course, is the Have next new them? single. <laughs> Did we answer that? Yeah, <laughs> sort oh, of that, Right. Um, it's the single and the uh, and the LP, which of course will come from the film, won't they? The single will, uh, will be Help, the song. It will need Help. Oh, the title the from the film, the same name. Yes, that's it. And the LP will be called Help. I think we've got a wonderful oh, chance yourself. now. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I wonder if we've got a chance now to, um, well, I think we have, of doing the first airing uh, of one of the songs on the film. Yeah, yeah let's do yeah, the, one yeah. of the first airings let's of do, one of the... Let's do one of them called The Night Before. Yeah, this, okay. one, this song is one that we do on uh, Salisbury Plain. It was written by Denny Piercy, you know him. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, of, of whom you once on. said. Yes, a parade of... Bless him. Bless him, yeah. Whom you once said. budding sing. young composer. <laughs> <laughs> so here he, here he goes, Danny <coughs> Piercy and his orchestra. With Why do they all say Danny Piercy and his orchestra? I no, because I wrote it down there on the screen. Oh, well, That's there we right. go. Why don't they say his orchestra and Danny Piercy? We'll try it that way, shall we? His orchestra and Danny Piercy and a song from the film. The night, night before. before. And just in case you didn't catch it, this is The Beatles and The Night Before.